David, authorities are able to clear the Ambassador Bridge uh, this weekend. Uh, what is the latest uh, there in Windsor? Yeah, so the, the, the bridge is open, and that's so important because so much uh, goods that is relied upon by factories on both sides of the border comes over that bridge. It's open this morning. The CBSA, the Border Services people, reporting no delays for commercial traffic. Windsor police are telling people you've got to approach the bridge in some different ways. So if you're anywhere in that area, there is going to be some traffic realignment. And in fact, uh, Canada Border Services is reporting no delay in commercial traffic at every border crossing across the country except two, and that's in Coots, Alberta, where the border remains blockaded, and in Emerson, Manitoba, again, the border blockaded by protesters. The one in Surrey, B.C., the Pacific Highway, there had been police action there over the weekend, but that has been cleared as well, so that, too, commercial traffic getting through there. That's great uh, that the blockades uh, are lifted at the, at, the, at the Ambassador Bridge and in Surrey, Behind me, though, here in Ottawa, the occupation continues. Bitterly cold morning, minus 24 right now. Not many people on the streets, but still a lot of vehicles parked, as they have been now, for three weeks and counting. I was going to ask you about that. Wasn't a deal reached with the protesters over the weekend? Yeah, it's a bit, a bit controversial. Mayor Jim Watson, the mayor of Ottawa, reached out to one of the protest organizers, Tamara Leach, and, uh, and they apparently reached some sort of deal to withdraw some of the vehicles only from residential neighborhoods. Behind me is part of my hill, not a residential neighborhood. So uh, presumably the idea would be to bring in some of these trucks from where residents have been complaining about honking horns in violation, I should point out, of a court order and just delinquent behavior, rowdyism, people cannot sleep, bringing those trucks in. We'll see. We're not sure what sort of command and control these protest organizers have over some of their participants. And as I say, a lot of people jumping on the mayor saying you should, nor you should not be negotiating with these folks. You should be telling the police to arrest and remove. Um, again, some of these protesters have been calling for the overthrow of the federal government. Um, are those the kind of people you want to negotiate with or have any basis to? But nonetheless, that's out there this morning. We'll see if it makes a difference. All right, and finally, David, we understand the uh, Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, he is uh, meeting with the uh, premiers uh, today because uh, now that the bridge in Windsor has been uh, reopened, you know, the focus uh, seems to be back on Ottawa and the nation's capital. In Ottawa, but don't forget Coots, that's an important border crossing, and as is Emerson. So the premiers are going to get together with the prime minister. They're going to talk about the blockades. One of the issues on the table is, does Ottawa invoke the Federal Emergencies Act? It never did so during the pandemic. Why? Because the Emergencies Act is usually only invoked at the invitation or the support of premiers. When a province says, it's out of my hands, I need the federal government to do something. So there'll be that discussion today, and we'll see where that goes. There's also a very rare meeting of the Federal Liberal Caucus to discuss about these blockades. Later today, a vote on a conservative motion calling on the government to publish a roadmap on how and when vaccine mandates will end and to publish that roadmap by the end of the month. And if that vote goes through and the government says, fine, we'll, we'll come up with something by the end of the month, maybe that lowers the temperature too and contributes to the removal of these protesters. Hmm. All right, David Aiken in Ottawa with the very latest. Thank you.